So neither of these maps are good enough for what they represent to me. Um, it's kind of hard for me to throw these away, or as I sometimes say, throw these on the pile of failed dreams, you know, with all the uh, motorcycle luggage racks and all the other stuff I've built that didn't turn out good enough or strong enough or nice enough, whatever. But what these maps represent is way too important to me to leave it at this quality. Um, and it is hard for me to get rid of these maps because my dad helped me with this one because I don't own a router. So, you know, I went down there one one day and then he routed the edges out for me. And then, you know, I sanded it and whatever. This one, you know, I took my son to the hardware store and we got wood for it. And he rode on the cart. You know, he's not going to be smaller much longer. And actually, he wanted to make a cat with the scrap metal. And I said, hey, you know, you want to do a tail or a head? No, I'm just going to make the body. So he measured this out himself and drew marks on the wood and said, hey, cut this here. You know, how do we screw this together? And, you know, I, I taught him how to use a tape measure this weekend. So, you know, and he helped sand some of the edges and stuff on this. So the fact that those people helped me with these make it hard to throw these away, but you know, they they would both understand like, hey, these didn't turn out very nice, or as nice as they could have been. Yeah, we get it. You know, especially my dad would know that. So, you know, like I tried to get a bubble out of it here, and it ripped because the paper got wet, and the paper and the glue did not react the way I thought, and I couldn't roll the air bubbles out and they got wrinkled and set too fast because the uh the mdf or whatever that masonite material is soaked up glue too fast and it it was just a big disaster so it's got all these creases and bubbles and this just looks like an eighth grade science fair project <laughs> like eh. Like, it was okay, and I, I put this on there, and that made it look even tackier, and the frame I 3D printed for that didn't look very good, and it just... I like green, but it was a bad choice for a background color. So, they just didn't turn out very well. So what I think I'm going to do is... <clears throat> I'm going to get another one of these maps, and not cut it. I'm going to have someone professionally frame that for me um, that's I can do woodworking but I picture frames I've never done one before there are place three places in town that'll do it and they'll do a better job than I could and I don't want to pay four times as much to fail and learn it myself I'm just gonna have a professional do it once for me I'm I'm fine with that so I'll have that in a frame I can just pop it out of the frame at the end of every year update it and be on my way. And while it is, it is nice to have that black one, it's very high contrast, it's very obvious where I've been. Um, and I, I do kind of like having the dates, like the first county and the last one on there. I don't have to have that on the map. I, I like the color better. So I'm going to do a map like this in a frame and do it color-coded. And the colors on here represent where I lived at the time that I got the county. So all this red stuff, I lived in Plymouth County, Iowa. Um, I think... I think orange is when I lived in Sioux County, Iowa. I'd have, I'd have to look at my little cheat sheet. The green, I know. The green has been the last two years. So um, about that much of Minnesota... Um, this part of Wisconsin, this part of Illinois, um, this part of Nebraska, this part of Nebraska, all of the green in South Dakota, all of the green in North Dakota, all of the green in Montana. That was this year. There's not very much green that was last year. Last year's green was like right here, there, and there, and there, and Iowa. 
but otherwise the majority of that green was this year so yeah each color represents a different place I lived so I, I think I'm gonna do that over the winter and then instead of these acrylic paint pens I'm going to get regular sharpies because if I run out of green you know for my current place that I'm living so I'm probably gonna be here a while if I run out of green I can buy a green sharpie and it'll match I can buy a green sharpie five years from now and the color will match I don't know if this company's gonna be around you know Amazon special who whatever fake made-up name if I need just a green one I don't know if I can get just a green I probably gotta buy the whole thing so I'll go with sharpies because they're repeatable and easily accessible yeah, it's it's always difficult to admit defeat and throw projects under the pile of failed dreams, you know, especially when there's, you know, some sort of memory attached to it. But that's what's going to happen with these. They're just not good enough. <laughs>